Hey guys, what is going on? Booster Kings here with another Pokemon video. And in today's video, we are going to be doing something that I didn't think I'd be doing for a little while. So I was waiting on one of my friends to come get back to me with this video. And we had a really good idea, but that video kind of fell through. That'll be happening later. So don't, don't, don't miss out on that one. That'll be very, 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 very soon. But in saying that, we have this extra product because he already opened up his on his channel very recently. And you guys know who this is, but I'm not going to give it away. <coughs> All right, um, <clears throat> anyways, we have this Champion's Path box and we're gonna do a collab and blow everything out of the water with some hot sauce and whatnot. But anyways, we're gonna be opening up this one and we're gonna be testing something because I, I as I do with every, every set that comes out or most sets that come out, I weigh the packs to see if they are weighable. And because these ones have all of the same code cards, we're going to be opening up a Champion's Path Elite Trainer Box in today's video. But we're going to get into this one. I've already opened up one of these, so if you guys want to see it in, in more depth, um, go check it out. It'll be up in the iCards right here. Go check that one out. But yeah, let's get into this one. Without further ado, we'll be opening up this one today. Put those off to the side. Get into this one. We're getting the packs out. Leave everything else in there except for this thing. The old Charizard right there. Yeah, we'll get all that off to the side. I've already opened up some of these, so... I've already opened up Champion's Park before, so go check out the video on that one. Check that one out. Such a nice looking card. So, oh, that is very, very badly damaged on the inside. Check that one out. Wow. Check out the damage on that, just there. Just on the top, just there. Can you guys see that? Look at that. That's insane. That's really, really, really badly done. Wow. Straight out of the packaging. That's already like that. That's just... <sighs> That's just annoying. But anyways, we'll put that one at the back. Get that off to the side. That one off to the side as well. And let's, so we get, we have 10, we're going to open up all of these in, in this video, obviously, today. So we're going to be opening up all of these in this video today, but we're going to separate the heavier ones from the lighter ones, and obviously middle, and then see which ones that we actually get something good in. And I'll show you, I'll speed up this process, but I'll show you guys the actual, what's going on. So we'll tear that one out. Alrighty, so we've just weighed them all, and they really are relatively the same weight. So we got like 2255 or 56, 2258, 59, 2260, 61, and 2261 and above. And then we have our heaviest one, which was 2264. So this one was the heaviest one, this one was the lightest one. We're gonna open up these ones first. We'll open up the heaviest one, see if we can actually, see if it actually gets something, because that'll be interesting. So there's a code card for you guys. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys got that code card. And we'll go straight into this. So we have an unlisted leaf energy. We have a Sonya, a Beedrill, a Milo, Inke, Weedle, a Galarian Lunoon, a Carvana, Swablu, a Scrafty Reverse Holo, and a Altaria Holo Foil to finish off that pack. So every pack comes with a hollow foil. That one's actually the hardest one to pull. Okay, so that was the heaviest pack. So heaviest pack does not have, it's very, very, very equal. Unless we got all hollows, which would just, that would just suck. That would absolutely just suck if we got all of the same cards. Oh, I couldn't tell you how much that would just suck. But in saying that, there are dud boxes. I know people have had a lot worse boxes than I have so far. I've only opened up, this is my second one, so I've only opened up 10 packs so far, 11 if you count that first one. We have Potion, a Pokeball, Hatterum, which is a uncommon, and oh, an Eldros V right there. I don't have that one actually, but an Eldros V, just, just, yeah, just ultra rare. Nothing, nothing crazy. So that was out of the lightest packs. The lightest one had something in it, so... If we don't get anything else in here, I'm the the light packs have have the have the stuff in it. 
So we're going to go for another heavy pack, or heavier pack, I should say. Not insanely heavy, but just like, just heavier than the rest. They're all, they're all relatively the same, so I'm assuming that they all have the same chance. But in saying that, who knows, that's why we do these videos, to educate, educate myself and everyone, just get a bit more of a, um... And we're pop, we're, we're, we're popping out. We're, we are popping out. I'm not sure what's going on there. We have a Hatterini, just reverse holo, or holo rare, sorry. Hatterine. I'm not sure what's going on with me hair. I need to fix it up. There we go. Now, let's, so that was just, all right. So we're getting, we'll, let's just have a little bit of a break. So we're getting hollows at the heaviest ones. We got a ultra rare at the lightest one. So maybe we'll go for another light one and see what we can actually get because full arts and I'm actually gonna I'm gonna do something right now. We'll put those ones over there bring out the scale again So what I'm gonna do is because we have all of these cards So we got a hollow we got a full art which we haven't pulled yet, and then we have a normal V card Let's see which one is heavier out of all of them. So we'll start off with the V card the V card weighs two grams exactly, absolutely to the T. We'll take out this Hatterene. Hatterene weighs 1.97 grams, 1.97 grams. And then the full art weighs 1.97 grams. So if, if I'm not wrong, that means that the Hatterene is a little bit heavier, it's got a little bit more texture on it, or gloss, but they're all the same. They they are all the same, so why why would they be any different? But in saying that, let's 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 just it doesn't even matter anymore. You can't weigh these packs, that's just it is what it is, but in saying that, I'm glad that we got that out of the way and actually did weigh some, so we could know the results of that. Just because, because you guys, because I do it with every set and because you guys absolutely love it. But let's go, we have a en Energy, a Lipod, BD, a Pires, Full Heel, a Scraggy, Purloin, a Machop, Nickit, ooh, a Reverse Holo Unlisted Leaf Energy, and we got the green background right now. So let's go, and then we have a Machamp Hollow Foil to finish off that pack right there. Let's go with another one. Champions Pub, we have El Creamy on the cover. Let's see, oh, imagine. So we're kind of just going for that Charizard now. Any of them, or even another Full Art. Come on, we had a great box. Our first box was really, 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 really good. I cannot, I have no complaints with that. So another Unlisted Leaf Energy. Oh, I had something in my eye. We have a Team Yell Grunt. Hmm. Weird. Nickit, a Sizzlepeed, Hatena, a Nickit again. Jesus, is that an We just got we just got two of two of the same card in the same pack. Two Nickits. That is that is not fair. That is not fair, Pokemon. We have an Inkay, a Team Yell Grunt again. What the heck? We're getting doubles of doubles that's a reverse holly, but doubles on doubles on doubles on doubles. Jesus. All right, and a Mach... Why? Why are you doing this to me, Pokemon? Two Machamps? What, what... What did I ever do to you? I'm very, very much trying to... Trying to purchase all the products, trying to do everything, trying to make videos for you, and you're giving me so many of the same cards in the same bloody pack. What is going on? Next pack. Four to the front, and then we will start off with a Darkness Energy, a Pokemon Center Lady, a Victini, a Kabu, Vulpix, a Trubbish, Roly Coley, a Zigazagoon, Weedle, or oh, a Reverse Hollow Water Energy. That is a beauty right there, and a Obstagoon. Wow. Wow. How many Hollows do we want? We want no more, please. We have four packs left. I'm glad these come with 10 packs in them. That actually makes me very happy that we get 10 packs in these in in these Elite Trainer Boxes. I haven't opened up an Elite Trainer Box in a while. It's actually been a while. 
We have an energy, Malamar, a uh, Turfield Stadium, Lyopod, Scraggy, Ekans, a Carv Kakuna, Nickit once again, get out of here Nickit, we have a Swablu, Victini, which is a uncommon, I thought that was a rare, and oh, a Gardevoir VMAX, nice, alright, so we're getting somewhere. Gardevoir VMAX Full Art. Check that one out. Absolute beauty right there. Absolute beauty. So we got three packs. We we still didn't get that next hollow. So could this be? Could this be it? Find out next time. Actually, just find out right now in the next pack. So let's go. Four to the front and we have a water energy. We have a Absol, Great Ball. I absolutely love this set, honestly, because it's got so many like regulars, like regular uncommons that seem to be rare, rare status, like that Absol. Absolutely crazy. Ooh, absolutely crazy. We have the Ekans and then we have a Scraggy Hollow. Alrighty, we're getting too many Hollows. That's pretty much reg rare by now. So we got another Gardevoir. Come on. Can we get. A Charizard. Oh, open, damn it. We need to get some some kind of some kind of ultra rare VMAX full art Charizard. Ooh, fire energy. Let's get this. Come on, please. To the pulling gods, can we get something in this pack? We have a team Yell Grant again. Machoke, Rotom Bike, a, a Carvana, Ekans, Weedle, Galarian Lanoon, a Scraggy. Oh, Wow, 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 wow. So we have so many reverse holo energies that we are getting from this. And, oh, a Dreadnought V. Nice. Very, very, very nice to finish off that pack. And not coincidental at all, but we have another, we have one more Dreadnought pack at the end. Very, very nice right there. All right, our last pack of this video. Guys, Wang does not work with Champion's Path. The lightest pack had an Eldross, but it was very, 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 very minimal. But then it didn't make sense with the other packs because we weighed each card. So uh, it'd be very interesting, I'm gonna do it right now, to see how much this Gardevoir VMAX weighs just on its own. We'll tear that one off and we'll see how much this weighs. So, 1.96. So that's just, that's pretty much the same as a reverse holo, I believe. Let's, let's weigh a reverse holo. 1.96. Let's weigh a normal Scraggy. 1.84. Okay, so it does have a little bit of, a little bit of leeway, a little bit of play right there. But in saying that, that is... It, it's pretty much unweighable. They have mastered it, but soon they'll bring it back. I'm sure they will, just to get a bit of hype. I don't know if they need any more hype, but they always do something weird. Like Sun and Moon Base Set, they had a huge amount of hype because you could map the packs. Oh my god, it was crazy. So we have a Hyper Potion, Sharpedo, a Suspicious Food Tin, Rolly Coley, a Nickit once again, get out of here. A Carvana, Swablu, a Arbok Rare or Uncommon Reverse Hollow, and a Lycanroc Regular <sighs> Hollow Rare. Guys, that wasn't the greatest one, but we did still get three pulls out of ten packs, which isn't great, but it's it's we we had fun doing it. We learnt something, we yeah, we learnt something. I'm not going to say we had super great pulls, but we had decent pulls. I've seen worse boxes. I know Brody's opened up a lot worse boxes, so I can't complain too much. But we'll do a quick little recap, and then we'll get up out of here. We have that Gardevoir VMAX. We have that Dreadnought V. Nice looking card. I love the blues on that. And then he's got a, he's got like a half-eaten pie. If you just look at that part, it's like a pie. We got that Eldros V. And then we got the Charizard V Full Art. Nice looking card. We didn't quite get it, but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you guys aren't new, and I will see you guys in my next Pokemon video. Peace out.